Hello everyone, welcome back to Baldur's Gate Dark Alliance for my 600 subscriber special. I think I am going to do probably another game alongside this. Uh, I haven't decided quite what yet. Oh shit. So there is somewhere down here um, the item I need for Ipswich. So the plan I've got, I've got an hour until... Uh, my plan is to maybe try and get an earlier night tonight, but... As I would have probably completed this much earlier today. And then, even though I wanted to go back to it, I just... What didn't have the the motivation to want you know, to to do it, and I knew I should have done. Um, you can now adjust any of your points, your know, ability by one point. Move the cursor up and down. Let's increase the strength, um, and we'll increase burning hands. <laughs> So I'm hoping to um, get to the end of this tonight. Uh, I think we're part four now. Providing the recording stuff it doesn't crash. Uh, Call of Duty uh, Black Ops 1. Uh, I did have the single line of uh, audio and that so I probably will restart that but I'm gonna finish the game first before I do that Health 40 out of 48. Energy, armor, base attack 5, damage. Oh, not bad. Family heirloom, fine kissing, and evil arc evil arc attack. <laughs>
Joe, completely off topic. I was watching this before I started the uh, video today. If anyone likes Titanic in my subscriber base, I, I love Titanic. I love the story. And uh, obviously in recent weeks, I've recorded the video. And probably for the next long time, we've heard about this submersible that, was, uh, that went missing while going down to the Titanic. And I, I was on... Uh, Another channel, another channel that I follow, Historic Travels, and I got into a discussion in this uh, on this uh, guy's channel uh, about uh, whether or not they should. You know, there was a thing about the you know rising. He he was his video about how they could rise the Titanic and. Uh, you know all all the uh, really crazy ideas they had, like the ping pong balls, putting Titanic into a large block of ice and raising it. I mean, that one is probably the probably one of the most ridiculous ones I've heard. But this this guy on the on the uh, on the on on his uh, video, he got quite you know short with me. Saying that you know he thinks that they should go down to the wreck and get artifacts, and I don't think they shouldn't go down and get artifacts. I think we should preserve what's uh, of some of the things down there. I saw a video the other day where they said you know we should go down and take pictures before the wreck disintegrates completely collapses. They're saying it could be gone. Well, uh, a guy who I watched said it could be gone by 2030, uh, which is. That's big. You know, 2030 is not very far away. So, do I think they should go and, you know, they've recently done, obviously, a massive big 3D model of the ship. Like, never, never, nothing ever been done like this before. And do I think that they should uh, uh, preserve things, maybe, like, take pictures of anything else, like the Turkish baths, that kind of thing. Well... One thing I do think they should do is we have now got all this thing about you know exploring things in VR and stuff like that, and we've got you know the, obviously the the game Titanic Honor and Glory uh, that's been being made for a number of years now, and that game is amazing. I played the demo. Uh, it's very demanding on the computer. But they still haven't finished yet, I don't think. And I haven't really heard much up in terms of updates. And I think they they, they said that uh, Demo 4 was going to be the last one they were going to release. But... After all that... Um, you know, if they did, like, you know, a VR uh, exploration of the, of the wreck... And they, ha they have kind of done a sinking VR game where you can go down and explore things you know, near the wreck and, you know, like, get, you know, stuff that you can take back and clean it and stuff like that. And that, that's totally amazing. I, I love, I love the idea of that. But when it comes to, um, you know, bringing stuff up, I think that when they brought up the big piece, and I think I did see the big piece at the Science Museum a number of years ago in London. And the thing that I... I love I love about Titanic is just like when you see that ship on the bottom of the ocean you see a, you know a, a time capsule essentially you know because yeah you see you see things that were like, almost like frozen in time you know this guy I was watching was saying about how the gymnasium has actually collapsed on the on the boat deck so going back to the video so this guy got quite you know angry with me saying that you know we should go down and take stuff and as much as i don't just i don't disagree that we shouldn't like bring stuff up and preserve some things but the families of the survivors there's no more survivors left alive anymore but the families of the survivors think that you know especially after this submersible has, has gone missing or, or, or imploded went missing and, and obviously uh, they lost contact it went missing they were looking for it for days. As much as I don't, I, I, I agree that you know it should be preserved maybe with pictures, video, any anything. 
What I also believe is that it should be left alone. And a few number of years ago, this was like 15 years ago, and we had the technology we have now. And if they could raise it, I would probably I would say I don't know. I, I would love it to. I, I think in an ideal world, if it if it could be raised, it would be very difficult. But would it be would it be insulting the the ones that died? And a lot of people believe that. I do think it, you know, it is obviously well, this guy and I got into a discussion that, you know, it is a grave site and it needs to be respected and treated as well. And the, the thing I find incredible is that the guy who made this uh, this Titan vessel uh, knew the risks and came out and openly said back in 2021 that he built this thing and it was, you know, controlled with a, a, a Logitech game controller. I mean, that's just absolutely mind-blowing. It's mind-blowing that a thing like that, untested, would be made, would, would, would be, would be made of something like that. I, I don't honestly, I can't honestly believe that. It's so incredible to me that that would actually be a thing. So this guy and I got into a discussion and he was quite, you know, not very nice to me. Uh, he basically turned around and said at the end of it that he didn't care about my opinion. That was his opinion. I don't know. He didn't want to hear mine. So he's all for, he's all for saying his opinion. He's all for, you know, saying what he thinks. But when it comes to people giving their opinions, he doesn't want to hear it. And I find that quite insulting. I find that quite um, infuriating and, uh, and upsetting that a guy would come out to me like that and say, well, I don't give a shit about your opinion. Uh, that's my opinion and and you you must respect it. Well, I do respect your opinion, but you also should have the decency and the respect back to respect my opinion. And my opinion is... I don't disagree that they should still preserve things to a degree. But anything else, it should be left alone. And now, the Titanic, you can... I mean, I said this to someone the other day, that it's incredible that you can actually say that the Titanic has now claimed five more victims. I think the fact that they, they they went down there and they charged $250,000 to go down to the Titanic. And I don't think it should be, I don't think they should charge you that much money to go down two and a half miles down to the bottom of the ocean. And, you know, they're essentially charging you to see a gravesite. You know, if you go to the Normandy field, uh, graveyards they those are graves but there's no risk to go there you can go there or not go there i mean this, this is this is someone you know this is uh this is someone things that people decide and this thing that took them down there was at their own risk and they came out and said that ocean gate came out and said you know you sign a you sign a waiver saying we weren't responsible for, for your death i'm not being funny but if you're going to come out and say that you've made this vessel and it's not even been readily tested, let alone known if it w if it would reach it, and there's been and now it's come out that the problems came out on this thing before even this happened. I find that absolutely incredible that they would that would happen. Hello. Oh, nice! That's a good find. No room. I'll have to come back for this.
friend. I think the smell of the sewers has taken a liking to you. Really? We have many fine deals. That's worth look? two thousand, which is just Our mad. Shop carries the finest dwarven weapons, brought here all the way from the Sunset Mountains. Right, we can get rid of this and this. That's awesome. That random hit, uh, critical hit. That's awful. That Warhammer is awful. Something to split someone's skull, or a helm to protect your own. You'll come to the right place. So, the guy is dead. I died before. I'm not really paying attention to what I'm doing. Fuck, that actually made me dumb.
Maybe you've done it. I feared that we were lost. Oh, Ill matter has truly sent you to us in our darkest hour. Where did this foul orb come from? Someone did this horrid act on purpose? All those deaths, who would wish us such harm? This is grave news. I appreciate all you have done for us. Please, accept this as a small token of our temple's thanks. I will consult with our remaining priests and see if they can determine who was behind this evil act. I will send someone to you should we discover anything. Wait for a messenger at the Elf Song Tavern. We will contact you should we learn anything. So, this is where I, I don't really understand what's going on. Because, I, well, last time I played this, I never got anyone who came and gave me any update. Unless it happens later and you return to Baldur's Gate, which is the only thing I can think of. So let's save the game. So next time we will go back up to the above level and we will uh, go and get the uh, quest item for Ipswich. And then that will be uh, in the next one, guys. But this is where it ends for now. So thank you very much for watching. As always, thank you again for the 600. And I'll see you next time, guys. Hey, everyone. Thanks for watching the video. This has been recorded by me and edited by me, Classic Gamer. If you liked what you see, please leave a like. And if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel because it really helps me out. If you want to watch me over on Twitch or join my Discord or do both, both will be very much appreciated. Links are in the description. So thank you once again for watching and I'll see you in the next one.